This is Miami All Access. Yeah, this is my first time being on since I since I've been here. Uh, it feels good to get a win like that, especially on a special day like this. Um, I was glad we was at, we were able to come out with the win, and um, that was a special one. So, uh, Zach. Um, Team-wise and individually, you scored all of your points in the second half. What was the difference uh, between the first half and the second half for the team and for you? Well, I thought in the second half we came out with great energy and great focus. felt in the second half sometimes we kind of slipped up and had some mental breakdowns. But in the second half, I thought we did a great job on Willis, did a way better job <coughs> of rebounding the ball. And I just think overall we both we all played well in the second half. Uh, turnovers, just six today. Did it... Uh, take care of itself uh, in between games, or did you have any kind of a discussion team-wise uh, about the turnovers? No, I, we just wanted to come out and just be aggressive, uh, be as aggressive as possible. You know, usually turnovers come when you're indecisive. So we just decided to just be aggressive and um, let it play out. So. Um, Gio, you guys were able to force uh, 12 turnovers today, but I think eight came in the second half. You had three steals yourself. So what were you guys doing, especially in second half on defense, that worked so well? Uh, we were just just really speeding them up, wanting to play at our pace, putting pressure on their guards that usually don't handle the ball. Uh, we got it. We was able to get it out of their best guards' hands and able to get into other guards, and we were able to trap them and uh, create turnovers. I know Coach has mentioned before that he likes you to get to the line. Um, 18 uh, makes and 26 today, so uh, you got there and you, you got some points. Uh, anything? that you guys were doing or were able to do that uh, got you to the line more? Uh, in the first half, we, we, weren't, we weren't being um, physical on offense. And we just, he, said, he said we need to be more physical on offense, so we came out in, in the second half. We just were just more physical with our drives and were able to get calls. So. They've got some big guys in there. Uh, was, uh, were they uh, kind of intimidating at times, or how would you work with that? Not really. I mean, we got some big guys as well. So when we go against it every day in practice, we got a shot blocker just like they have a shot blocker. So it really didn't affect us that bad. And uh, we were able to handle it. You guys got, uh, you know, you were down in a hole uh, pretty early there. Uh, I guess you were able to just keep your composure. Nobody was uh, uh, panicking. No, we, had a, we knew the game was going to be a long game. Uh, once we went in the press, it really helped us. So that was big. You know, I thought in many ways that when we came out for the game, we, we, we didn't start the right way, meaning I thought we had energy, but we, we weren't as locked in or, or focused on, on what we were trying to do defensively. Uh, consequently, Indoor starts off the game playing well. His energy is on the offensive boards. Bean Willis is scoring buckets. Um, Stevie Taylor comes in. He hits a couple of threes, and so we got a problem. Um, and decided to go small and to go with the pressure. And I thought as it played out, that group um, brought us tremendous energy. Um, we were able to score off of their turnovers. We were able to convert those. Um, we didn't turn the ball over, which was really important. Uh, because they're very good um, in transition. Uh, they still ended up with nine um, offensive rebounds, but you know I thought they got about three of those there pretty early in the game. Um, I thought Eric Washington was obviously uh, terrific and made um, very good decisions. I thought Willie Moore was very good. He only ended up with five points, but certainly um, gave us a boost, and, and Giovanni played well. I thought our, I thought our guys um, played well, uh, and I thought Chris Bryant um, played well, but a uh, good game for us. It's been a long time since we beat them. Um, but uh, happy for our kids because, you know, obviously his last three games, previous three games had been a struggle and we'd been right there um, with the exception of Eastern Michigan. But they didn't give in and they stuck to it and, and we had the necessary energy and the necessary uh, intestinal fortitude to uh, get a victory tonight. Questions? Not only were you forcing turnovers, but you weren't turning the ball over at all. Right. Almost not at all. You only hit two after halftime. Right. I mean, that was – is that might be like the second best half you've played this year? You know, to be to be honest, I've probably got to look at the tape. And, 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 I, and I thought we played good. And, and I thought we played 
very good there. There was a stretch from a defensive standpoint where I thought we played very good. Um, you know, but in the midst of being caught up in, in the game, um, I sort of lost, you know, how well we're playing. But I, w I was really more wrapped up into our energy, you know, was our energy where it needed to be. But, you know, we certainly played better, you know, and, and maybe one of our better halves. Uh, and, and as you look at the game, a lot of our shots, most of our shots, we were able to get to the paint. And then, of course, we had some opportunities where we kicked the ball out. But, you know, we scored a lot in the paint off drives and, and well, 38 points in the paint, um, particularly in the second half. Zach had 10 points. Did you Zach had 10 points, but uh, uh, two of them uh, stick out in my mind were the, the two Threes. trades from the, the corner. That right. really helped at that point in time, didn't it? Well, it, it helped us, but I think it even helped him maybe even a little bit more. Um, but good plays. I want to say uh, Eric, was he both of those assists? I can't remember. I know he was one of them um, for sure, but – you know, Zach struggled um, from the field, but he was actually ready to shoot and, and knocked him in. I don't know if anyone's cheering harder for Zach than his teammates wanting him because, you know, everyone knows he has ability and his talent. And it's just a matter of him, you know, getting his confidence level. But those were big baskets. Almost had a third one there from Giovanni McKnight from the same spot. Um, I thought his was actually in when he let it go. Uh, Willis had 14 points. Uh, you know, pretty decent day, but... Uh, there are times, especially recently, when he can oh. really get loose and cause problems. How did your, how do you feel overall about the way you handled him today? Well, I thought, you know, you look at the game early, and he was out of the barn, and I and I was thinking we've got a problem here. You know, mayday, mayday, because he he can get it going. Um, but I thought throughout the course of the game that we did a very good job. Um, we forced him to take some tough shots over people. Um, and he's capable of making those shots. I mean, because what he did down the stretch against Akron was unbelievable. Um, but you know, lucky for us, you know, he missed some of those shots. But you know, when you when you're going against a player with his offensive capability and his talent, you know, you just guard him and you hope that he misses some of those shots and that he doesn't get it going. And and fortunately for us. Um, you know, he cooled off there a bit. And, you know, you look at his numbers, 6 of 14, but it was 2 of 8 from 3. And so, you know, we'll take that. How would you feel about uh, handling the, their big guys? I know uh, Campbell ended up with uh, 17, but a lot of his damage was on uh, when he got hot with the threes at the end. Well, yeah, he ended up with a double-double, 17 and 10. I mean, I think the one thing that he's shown this year, and, you know, I didn't know he – had that obviously I didn't really see him because I wasn't here in high school when he was over in Covington but man he has the ability to knock down shots from three point range and it looks good um, the one thing about that for us was he made them and he made some of them there was a side of me that was a little bit happy in that at least he was off the boards if he missed them you know but he didn't but you know and then indoor indoor started off very well in the first half also and so you know quite frankly you know, I, I was worried because Stevie Taylor came in off the bench and he makes two threes. So you're talking indoors playing well, Bean Willis is playing well, Stevie's playing well, and Campbell's playing well. That's not good for us. But, you know, we were able to um, overcome that and, um, you know, extend the court a bit with the pressure. So I think that also helped us because there was a time there in the half court we just couldn't quite get them settled. Uh, free throws. They mm -hmm. only had three. You had 26. You made 18 of 26. Uh, any particular things uh, that you were doing or uh, well, to I, get to the line? I mean, I don't know if there's anything particular we were doing. I mean, listen, I mean, I'm not crazy. I've been on the other end of this, too, also, where you go on the road and you don't shoot many, and the home team does. So, I mean, I'm not, I don't think Saul's going to say anything about that or in that manner. But, you know, you, you have to say, I mean, we shot three free throws and they shot 26. Um, you know, and there, you know, were there some questionable calls? Yes, I think there's questionable calls, you know, every game. But you know, I think one of the things though that that really helped us is that there were some jump shots they were taking. They took 28 threes, you know, so you know, 28 of their 59 shots were from three, and so you know that also helped um, a little bit. But you know, for us, we we made them. Well, we made 18. That's not quite 70 percent, but just getting there and, and being able to have 26 attempts um, really helps us. 
and we continued to be aggressive in driving downhill and, and putting the pressure on their defense, and we didn't bail out. You know, there was a, I thought Willie took a quick shot there in the second half at one point, but for the most part, we were going downhill and downhill and downhill and, and putting them in a precarious situation.